waraka wa kwanza wa Yohana 2 tatu baka tano Bile nasema tuko pale Tumefika Kuna mtu amefika Amen Na katika hili twajua ya kuwa tumemcha tume tumemjua tume yeye ikawa tunashika amri zake yeye asemaye nimemjua wala hazishiki amri zake ni muongo wala kweli haimo ndani yake tano lakini yeye alishikae neno lake katika huyo upendo wa Mungu umekamilika kweli kweli katika hili twajua ya kuwa tumo ndani yake yes and we can be sure that if, if we know we can be sure that we know him if we obey his commandments if someone claims i know god but doesn't obey god's commandments that person is a liar mm -hmm. and is not living in the truth mm -hmm. but those who obey god's word truly show how completely they love him mm -hmm. this is how we know we are living in him that is how we know we are living in him it's difficult yes ningumu ndio obedience is not always easy wapendwa kuti na kunyenyekea si rahisi hivyo ni ngumu but as leaders like Joshua lakini kwa sababu kama viongozi we must be nao tamani kuwa kama Joshua we must lead lazima tuongoze by our own personal obedience kwa unyenyekevu tuwe mfano tuwe watu wa kunyenyekea how can you expect someone to follow you je unatarajia mtu mwingine akufuateje if you yourself are not obedient in leading mtu anyenyekebele zako na wewe mwenyewe si mwenyekevu katika kuongoza so we see Joshua was full of the spirit of wisdom tunamuona Joshua alikuwa amejawa na roho ya hekima he was a man of courage mtu mwenye udasiri he was a man of obedience mtu mwenyekevu but lastly i want you to see that he was a man of faith pia nataka muone mwisho kwamba alikuwa mtu wa imani. What is faith? Imani ni nini? I love Hebrews 11:1. Napenda Waebrania 11:1. wa Hebrania 11:1 Biblia inasema basi imani ni kuwa na hakika ya mambo yatarajiwayo yatara ni bayana ya mambo yasiyoonekana Faith is the confidence that what we hope for mm. will actually happen mm. It gives us assurance about things we cannot see mm. Mm, that is faith. Yes. Hiyo ndio that Man. is faith. Natupa matarajio ya vitu ambayo hatuoni. That although I man, that although I don't see the end result, hata kama matokeo ya mwisho siyaone, sijui vile itakuwa mwishowe. Hiyo sasa ndio <laughs> iman. I have confidence that it will actually happen. Ninajua na ninaamini kwamba kweli itafanyika. Verse 3. Sadiwa tatu. Kwa imani twafahamu ya kuwa ulimwengu uli, uliungwa kwa neno la Mungu. Hata vitu vinavyoonekana havi kufanywa kwa vi, vi, havi kufanywa kwa vitu vilivyo dhahiri. By faith we understand the entire universe was formed at God's command that what we now see did not come from anything that can be seen. Is there anybody here that is a builder 
And uh, a craftsman, does anyone here build, make anything? Je, labda kuna mtu uko hapa wewe ni fundi, unajenga vitu ama unaumba vitu, unatengeneza vitu kwa mikono, kwa mikono yako. Wewe ni fundi. Aha. Okay. Have you what, what do you have to have in order to build something? Je, ni nini unahitaji ndio kujenge kitu? Okay. Yes. But you need ni vitu gani unahitaji? You need to build. Well, we need that in. Carpenter. Eh, unahitaji nini na hivi ukwe carpenter? Ufanye kazi yao. Bao. What is a carpenter need? Bao. Eh, bao. Eh, timber, wood, wood, nails. Yes. Tools, mari, nyundo. Okay. Mm. So you can build. Unaweza jenga, but you cannot create. Lakini hauwezi hau umba. Yes. Unaweza jenga lakini uweze umba hiyo vitu. Yes. Si ukweli? Yes. You can build but no one in here can create. Jinsi yeah. tulivyo hapa tunaweza tengeneza vitu lakini hatuna uwezo wa umbaji. Si ni kweli? This church was built. Kanisa hili lilijengwa but it was not created. Lakini halikuumbwa. People took tools Watu walichukua bidhaa ama vyombo and materials na wakaleta vifaa mabati mbao misumari yote hiyo and they built the church na kanisa likajengwa but they did not create the church hakuna yule mtu ambaye aliumba ili kanisa si ni ukweli i say this because sema haya kwa sababu our faith imani yetu is in god iko kwa mungu and God na Mungu is the creator. Yeye ndiye muumbaji. God makes something. Mungu anatengeneza kitu. Nothing. Mahali ambapo hakuna kitu. If I were to ask you sir, kama ninaweza kuuliza swali. Build me another church. Niumbi nijengee kanisa lingine. But I'm not giving you any tools. Lakini nakuuliza ujenge kanisa na nisikupei vifaa ambavyo utatumia. No timber. No nails. Hakuna msumari, hakuna nini. No material. Hiyo vitu zote. What would you say? Utasemaje? I don't know man. Again kama anakujaribu. Sina pesa. So this is the faith we have. Be encouraged man. He ni imani tunayo kutiwa moyo. Our faith is in a living God. Imani yetu iko kwa Mungu aishie who created everything. Muumba wa vitu vyote. He created the trees to make the timber. Yeye ndiye aliumba miti ambayo inatusaidia tunapata mbao. He created the iron and the metal. Yeye alitengeneza chuma to make the shumari. Yeye ndiye Mungu aliumba hiyo. He created the planets and the stars. Mungu aliumba vitu vyote ambazo tunaziona. On a cloudless night. Hata na haya hizi nyota ambazo tunaziona juu. Are you encouraged in your faith? Je, umetiwa moyo katika imani yako? Are you encouraged? Yes. Umetiwa moyo? Yes. This is a God who will never leave you. Huyu ndiye Mungu ambaye hatakuacha. Never abandon you. Hata kutupa, hata kuangusha atakuwa na wewe and he's calling you to lead your people na anakuita ndugu mungu huyu anakuita kwamba wewe ni kiongozi chukua nafasi ongoza watu wako so all you need is faith unahitaji hii imani when you walk in faith unapotembea kwa imani it takes the pressure off of you ina inaondoa yule msongo wa mawazo ama msukumo wa damu juu yako to have to do kufanya vitu because he kwa sababu yeye Mungu has already done ameshafanya tayari he has gone before you yeye ni Mungu anaenda mbele yako anakutangulia so he will prepare you kwa hivyo atakuandaa ataenda mbele yako for the task that he's calling you to ajili ya kazi na jukumu ambayo anakupa uongoze amen amen, amen. Want us to be with. Amen. One more verse on this. Ephesians chapter two, verse eight. Why epistle? Now let's go eight, nine, and ten. Yeah, eight, nine, and ten. Ephesians two. 
No other person in this room Hapa kwa jumba hili In Kitale Hata maeneo ya Kitale In Kenya Kenya Uganda Uganda Africa Africa No Zima. one else has the same ha fingerprint Hakuna mwenye ana alama za vidole kama zako <laughs> Ni wewe Wewe ni special God has created you a masterpiece Mungu amekufanya kwa mpango wake Mungu God loves you so much. Wewe ni mtu wa muhimu kwake. Amekuumba kwa mpangilio. Walk in faith. Tembea kwa imani. Be filled with the spirit of wisdom. Jaisho na roho wa hekima. Be a man who is strong and courageous. Mtu ambaye mwenye nguvu na ushujaa. Be a man who does the hard work of obedience. Mtu anayetenda kazi kwa unyenyekevu. Be obedient. Mtu unyenyekevu. Even when it's hard. Hata kama ni ngumu, especially Lakini when it's hard. Kuwa unyenyekevu na jua ni ngumu. And be a man of faith. Yes. Kuwa man. mtu mwanaume wa imani. Amen. Amen. Imagine. Just stand to your feet. I want to pray a blessing over you. Thank you, Jesus. I see men who are strong and courageous. I see men who are filled with faith. I see, I see men who like Joshua are ready to lead their people. If that is you all, I pray over you. I just want you to do this. Place your hands out to receive. Come and wear away. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, you see your sons here. Baba unaona wanao sasa. Lord, they are humbled and surrendered to you. We are all surrendered to you, Lord. And Father, I pray right now. Baba na sasa naoba. That you would fill them. 
kwamba unawajaja with the spirit of wisdom kwa roho wa hikima with the spirit of understanding roho wa ufahamu they would be able to lead their families well wanaenda kuongoza familia zao vizuri they would be able to lead their villages and their towns and their people wanaenda kuongoza maeneo yao na watu vizuri father leading guide them baba wa waongoze into all wisdom and understanding kwa kila hekima na ufahamu and lord i pray that you fill them baba naomba kwamba unachilia roho wako juu yao with a spirit of courage roho wa udasiri that they would not operate in their own power kwamba hawatatembea kwa nguvu zao or in their own strength wala kwa udasiri wao but they would be strong lakini wanaenda kuwa wenye nguvu in the mighty power kwa nguvu kuu of the holy spirit na roho takatifu wako for it is not by might si kwa nguvu by power wala uwezo by the spirit of the living god wala ni kwa roho wenye nguvu wa mungu and father i ask you baba naomba to fill them na wajaisha with the spirit of obedience kwa roho wako au nyinyi kwa hard things kwamba katika hak wakati mungu and the easy things na hata katika nyakati za usinem lord baba ukaachilie uwezo wao a hunger and thirst achilie kiu na kiu na wao for your word kwa ajili ya neno lako and for righteousness kwa ajili ya haki yako sina la yesu ajaje lord let them be men of obedience baba wacha wawe wanaume wa unyenyekevu lastly lord kwa ajili ya pray over them na omba mwisho a greater measure of faith kwa ambao natembea kwa imani in jesus name kwa jina la yesu christ increase their faith achilia na uinue imani zao god give them eyes to see wape macho na ndani ili waone what is not come to pass yale ambayo hayawapasi because we believe bwana tunaamini that in faith kwa imani what we do not see yale ambayo hatuoni yet kwa hivyo will happen itafanyika because you are a god kwa sababu wewe ndiye created everything ndiye umba vitu vyote and it exists na zile zinazoishi and is held together na zile zote ambazo zinaonekana by the power of your word kwa nguvu ya neno lako jesus we worship you today kristo tunaamini and fill your home with spirit yes, of wisdom and power and courage and that we receive it na neema na nguvu let us walk in it watembee kwa njia yako let them be like Joshua wacha wawe Joshua we thank you lord asante bwana for your word kwa neno lako for your promises kwa ahadi zako and we receive it now na tunapokea sasa in jesus mighty name na kwa jina la yesu kristo amen na kanisa tuseme amen thank you jesus praise him to to be the word to to see the mungu it's word hallelujah my god my name Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen.